John Roberts, several months ago, early 2020, I decided I was going to make a video series of replacing the 4L60E transmission in my Hummer H2 with a 4L80E transmission. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but 2020 had some unexpected things. <laughs> However, I still got it done. <laughs> In Florida heat in the middle of the summer, I still got it done laying on my back in the driveway. I tell you what, there was so much involved too. I had to find a 4L80E. It had to be out of a three quarter ton 4x4. I had to get the adapter off of the back of that transmission because it's different from the one that's on the back of the 4L60. I had to get a different planetary set that goes into the front of the transfer case there's a lot of stuff involved. I got a torque converter, I got a flex plate, I got both custom lines made that go from the transmission to twin coolers in the front. There's so much stuff that I did that you may or may not want to or have to do. I'll preface the whole thing by saying that. The thing is, it is involved. You will be doing some computer tuning you will be putting a couple of wires into the ECU plug. There are some things that may be intimidating to you, but I've messed with cars for decades. And while a couple of the computer things had me thinking, oh man, I don't know if I want to do this. I did them and I was fine. There are so many videos, so many sources and so many places, so many examples that the chance of you messing it up. See, I still remember that the two wires go into pins 22 and 23. That's how many times I watch videos. I digress. We're going to hop under this truck and I'm going to show you a quick rundown and then I will show you a list so you can make a decision on your own. See how inexpensively you can find a core transmission. See how much it's going to take for you to get one rebuilt. Uh, you're going to have to source the torque converter, flex plate, things like that. And you'll have to make some decisions on your own if you want to do it this way or that way. But start right now checking out everybody else's videos that have to do with this. There's a guy named Tahoe Steve, like the Chevy Tahoe, T-A-H-O-E. Tahoe Steve. Watch his series of, uh, he changed out the 4L60E to a 4L80E in his Tahoe. And it's incredibly informative. It gives you good overview. You can never watch too many videos before you take on a project like this. So let's head under this dude and let's start talking about what's going on down there. Yeah, well, there you have it. There's our tag on the side of the transmission. I spent so much time and energy to make it so you could see that right there. All right, that is nothing special when it comes to a torque converter. I went to O'Reilly Advance and AutoZone here locally and found the cheapest. I looked into the route of having my other one rebuilt that I got with the transmission and they would cut it apart, rebuild it, and it was the same cost as if I just went and picked one up with a warranty at uh, O'Reilly. This one was about 180 bucks. There's also behind there a new flex plate. Went ahead and got that because it does differ from the 4L60. While I've not put it in yet, I went ahead and bought a new starter and I've been too busy driving the wheels off of it to address it since then. Now, see that? That's a little kit you can buy on eBay. That's the cheapest one I could find. It's a little generic. Just slides down in there into the open hole and has a little rubber seal and it hasn't leaked yet, so got that going. And you're probably going to have to do that because that goes all the way up and goes up under the hood and I'll show you that later, but see the two black lines? There's a kit that's made uh, and sold on eBay and that's what I used here. All right, I figured out how to turn on the light on my phone. Okay, boomer. Anyway, there's one of the fittings and there's one right back there. This is a kit that I bought on eBay, I believe. And I tell you what, the AN fittings and the lines have gotten so cheap. I asked around because I'm used to on race cars having really nice expensive setups and more people I talked to said, you know, that's actually a system that works. You can see it runs over there, it goes up in the wheel well, and mounts up onto two coolers up in the front, I'll show you later. But as of right now, that's what's going on down here. You see there's a new drive shaft and U-joint right there. 
the reason they're both new is because after I did the swap, the transmission is a little longer, thereby making it so that area right there that connects is a little farther back than it used to be. So the front drive shaft is now longer and the rear drive shaft is now shorter. That's an overview of what's going on down under here. So let's go up on top and show you what's under the clamshell hood. While you guys are thinking about it, I want you to write something down. Remember Tahoe Steve that I talked about? Check out his segment called Segment Swap. That will explain to you how all the tuning goes on with the transmission. Saw another guy here online who had this set up and I asked him if it worked and he said, yep. So I did the exact same thing he did. Uh, twin coolers there and I mean that gauge. I can drive this thing all day and that gauge, I, I don't think I've ever seen it at the halfway mark yet. It just never ever gets hot now. I'm incredibly happy with that. As people have told you, as you may have researched and found out, the, uh, the 4L80E gearing is a little different. Your first gear is longer, meaning that the truck will feel a bit more sluggish in its first gear. First gear lasts a bit longer and it's, it's something you get used to, but you're also gonna be tuning a lot on that transmission so you can adjust a little bit of that stuff. Now I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you a little bit about this HP Tuners software. If you already have a laptop, you're a bit ahead of the game. If you already have a Rottweiler, it's looking at you like it's dinner time. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is the HP Tuners MPVI2. This little puppy right here is, it's either $299 or $399. I think it's $300 plus tax. Now that, you'll see it has the OBD2 port, plugs into the vehicle. The thing that you need to know is you have to buy credits to get into the system on your car so you can tune the engine, the transmission, uh, and those credits generally, like on the Hummer H2, it's gonna be two credits, so they're 50 bucks a piece, so there's 100 bucks. So we're talking the cost of this, if you have a laptop, great. If you don't, the cost of that. And you're gonna be spending some money on this. The good news is, you know those places that do all the tuning on cars in your town and they dyno tune them and stuff like that and make them so they make a lot of power? Those guys have this. There's a pro version and most of them have that. They will be able to do the segment swap needed for your transmission. And once again, a segment swap basically has your truck here and the transmission here. You go into the computer system of your truck and where it says that it has a 4L60E, and I'm simplifying this, go over to the file that you got from another vehicle that's on a place called a tune repository. I'm just skimming this for now. But anyway, you'll have access to another file at another place, a truck that's similar to yours with the six liter and all that stuff, but it will say that it has the 4L80E. It's basically all the files that have to do with running that transmission. So you open up this one and you open up your Hummer H2. You go in and you kind of drag this over here and tell the computer, no, you don't have a 4L60E, you have a 4L80E. Now I'm just making this just really layman's term, just paraphrasing. So once you do that, you'll go in and there'll be some tuning as in shift points and there'll be when it downshifts and upshifts, at the Tune Repository and at hptuners.com, there's a huge network of people who have been dealing with these things for a long time. And if you feel like you wanna handle it on your own, there's gonna be a lot of input, a lot of people who are there to help you. This is the end of the first video. I don't wanna drag on too terribly long, but you kinda of have an idea now. You're gonna be, uh, I don't know, you're gonna need a transmission, gonna need a torque converter, Somehow along the way, you're either going to have to get a segment swap done by a tuner or you're going to have to get this system. And you're going to have to get, you know, you saw the thing about the drive shafts and stuff. So we're, what are we thinking, probably 1500 so far already? We'll go into the actual dollar amounts on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please 
like and subscribe and make sure you click on the notification so you'll notice as soon as the next one arrives. Thanks.